It's a bitter reason for the surge in business, but nonetheless, we're here. And delivery services say they need to continue working now more than ever. Hungry Monkey has been delivering since 2015. With many of its drivers, cross-border workers now opting to isolate, the food delivery service has lost a large amount of its fleet. Like a lot of the community's efforts to mobilize its resources, this crisis has certainly led to inventive solutions. So we've set up an initiative with the Taxi Drivers and the Taxi Drivers Association to help us in dealing with the influx in orders and to offer them some form of income at this quiet time for their sector. It's working a treat and with the number of them already set up and logged in to our delivery management app, they're already receiving orders. Uh, for us, it just fits and they're very keen to work and they can be set up remotely. You know, the streets and the houses and we've got the technology. So don't be surprised if you do see your local taxi driver at your door with your next Hungry Monkey order. A representative from the Taxi Association told GBC it's the private hire taxis that are joining forces with Hungry Monkey, adding that most of the other taxi drivers have stopped working. Additionally, the association has volunteered to help with deliveries to those in need. Hungry Monkey is also supporting volunteers, providing its software to the government to help manage those putting themselves forward to help. The food delivery service adds that though the community is pulling together wherever possible, some businesses will still struggle to remain open. But in discussions with some of our restaurant partners, they are starting to think about closing the doors as a result of the dip in service. Everything about this situation has been unexpected. For recently established Nom Noms, it's been hard to cope with such sudden demand. We've been around for nearly a year now, working quietly and steadily behind the scenes, building our foundations. Uh, these sudden difficult times have undoubtedly been challenging and have quite ex unexpectedly resulted in surge of demands for delivery services, which we weren't quite expecting, but it's going pretty well. The challenge has been in striking the right balance between not turning away customers, obviously both the new ones and regulars, uh, and not overloading our drive force to the point where obviously service is degraded or safety is compromised. And it's not just food that people want on their doorsteps. Self-isolation and the wider social lockdown has made it difficult to get hold of many items. Vepo has gained popularity for its Morrison's personal shopping service, which is now busier than ever. But marketing themselves as a personal butler, they offer to assist with pretty much anything door to door. In the current climate, this has landed them with some unusual requests. Uh, we've actually created a gym at home for, for people who who normally would go and work out on a day-to-day. -day. We've had clients calling us up that they were going crazy for two hours looking for a cigarette lighter at home. So they called us up and, and we went and bought a, a simple cigarette lighter. In other uh, more extreme cases, uh, someone's had a, an injury at home or they've cut themselves or anything like that, that they need something from the pharmacy, which is also very important for us to, to react as quickly as possible. The demographic that have been most impacted by COVID-19 mitigation measures is undoubtedly the over 70s, now legally obliged to stay at home unless essential. A, no a normal day-to-day -day routine for an elder might have been something like um, uh, every Thursday having lunch with, with their grandchildren or maybe every Friday evening uh, having a dinner all together or maybe uh, uh, cooking or baking a simple birthday cake. They're calling us up and saying, look, Next Wednesday, I'm going to prepare a meal and I need to deliver to, to, my, to my son. So on, on occasions like this, um, we will contact the, the receiver and say, um, um, your parent has called us in that you will be receiving a, a homemade a meal or a birthday cake or anything that they, that they re request. Vepo, as well as Rock Hero, have also offered to deliver prescriptions free of charge to over 70s. The Chief Minister has deemed delivery services essential, but despite this, they have been met with difficulties. As the crisis deepens on the Rock, these companies are going to play a vital role. They say your patience with them is just as essential.